yeah, just confidence in uh, the off season and um, just what I, I wanted to be able to do, which is extend plays. De definitely not uh, my strong suit in, in terms of you know being six five and <laughs> meaty, but I think uh, just you know with the day and age of college football, you got to be be able to extend plays and. Um, I know I can do that. So. So that's something you worked on specifically in the off season. I think just getting my body in shape, okay. and being where I want to be, uh, being confident in it. It's more a physical thing than exactly. a mental film sort of thing. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. Dylan, it didn't seem like the passing game down the field was there. Were they taking things away like the deep ball for you guys? I think, uh, you know, we really wanted to set the tone early, running the football, um, and, and that kind of, you know, led to us uh, running a little bit more. Um, but don't think uh, that was something that uh, stopped us. I think it's just being able to be more aggressive, but also knowing you know, we wanted to run the football. So. And Brent, had, there's been a lot of talk. Uh, Brent kind of referenced that he was asked about last year versus this year, how you guys finished the game. Is that yeah. something that could have been different or you thought would have been different a year ago versus what you guys did tonight? I guess we'll never know, right? But yeah. I'll, I'll say this. I think uh, the mindset, attitude, um, a, a lot of things were self-inflicted, um, as we know, but... Also, uh, I, I go back to the off-season workouts, uh, the intentional, intentional uh, part of it. I think uh, the mindset is is huge. And it's something that's different about this team. That, that that drive, that eleven play drive right after SMU scored. Can you yeah. kind of take us through that and some of the third downs and then the completion that Jaleel there for the touchdown? Yeah, just uh, adversity, uh, feeling that, and then also feeling, you know, we got to make something happen. Um, I love how nobody played, you know, out of who, who they are and, and just let it come to them. And they made plays, and, and that's huge uh, in the run game, the pass game, and also, you know, finishing the drive. You mentioned the mindset attitude. Was it something you were preaching when things got a little hairy there in the fourth? Yeah, I think something that's to say that's something that, you know, happens in a practice. Maybe you're having uh, some adversity or um, some struggles, um, being able to, you know, set the tone in those atmospheres and then being ready for it when it comes to game time. You know, uh, SMU played really well, but I, I also think that, you know, we had a lot of self-inflicted wounds that, you know, we left some things on the board. I hear from Brent about, you know, this is a game maybe you don't win a year ago. So this is how he put it. And a lot of that, I think, has to do with the defense. But yeah. those, those scoring drives you got in the fourth quarter, the drives you needed to, to close that out, did that feel different in any way from a year ago? It did. I, I think it's the confidence. I think it's... Um, I'll go back to the attitude and mindset. I know I'm a broken record, but um, just the ability to, you know, put our, put our foot in the ground and, and play ball and, and finish. And that's something that's big. And at the end of the day, a win is a win, and we'll never take that for granted. Brent said a lot of that is just more confidence in what you guys are doing on both sides of the ball. Do you feel that, that confidence even when there is adversity? Yeah. Um, I just say in those moments, being able to, you know, rely on all the reps you've had. Um, you know, a year ago, there was a lot less than, you know, where we are now. Just all, all the reps we've been able to get better at. Um, but I, I'm just proud of the guys being able to execute, uh, be clean in pressure situations, in adversity, and um, embrace them. After you just kept off the board last week, how nice was it to get Jaleel in there a little bit, get him in the end zone? Tonight? Really good. I think uh, he's someone that, you know, just hadn't got going for some odd reason, not mm. necessarily being him, just the opportunities uh, going his way, but he's a guy I have a lot of confidence in, and uh, him making that play, seeing him with the ball in his hands is something that's very special and something that not a lot of people can do. Mm -hmm. When you look at kind of when you look at the scoring and, and how you guys kind of sputtered there in the third quarter, and what's it like looking up there and seeing 11 points on the scoreboard? That's all you've got to deal with, com uh, you know, compared to last year, whenever you were trying to just score every time you could to keep up. What's what kind of confidence that gave you going through that? Different, you know, and I'll say this just from you know last year to this year, there's a lot of differences, and we could I maybe mean, we could keep going on and on, but I, I will say this. At the end of the day, it's finishing. It's having the attitude, the mindset, uh, setting the tone early, and then, you know, at the end of the day, finding a way to win. And uh, I'm proud of our guys because in that moment, maybe of adversity or that 14-11 and going into that drive, nobody flinched, and, and that's uh, something I'm really proud of. How far back did you go to where finishing became the, the, the word for this team? Would that be January, December? I'd say mid-season. You know, it's Last something, year? yeah, we, we talked about, but... It was the emphasis and uh, the strain. I remember 
one-on-one tug of wars and just the, the look in people's eyes of finding ways to, to win and compete. It's something that, you know, you live for and, and as a competitor. So um, I, I go back to those days and uh, just all those days built up, you know, coming into now is, is something that, you know, we really pride ourselves on. When you seem like you got pretty frustrated at times in the first quarter, which obviously happens, but how much does this, your experience really factor into being able to shake that off and finish the way you did? Huge. Um, I think I've been in a lot of those moments, and I, I've learned from it, and I'll continue to learn from it, you know, as we watch the film. But um, my passion may come out uh, on these guys by love, and they know that, uh, you know, we demand a lot from one another um, just because we know how, how good we can be and a, a lot of things being self-inflicted. But, you know, just with all the experience, I, I try to use it to my advantage, but also with, with the guys, you know, around me. Um, it's something that can be very useful. To get your 100 career passing touchdown, what does that mean to you? It's a journey, you know. It's it's, it's a, a something that I'll look back down, way down the road. But as of now, man, I'm I'm trying to you know keep going and, and find ways to win. So um, it's something that's super cool. Um, just when you look back a little bit of the journey, but you know, there's there's a lot of long ways to go. So. Appreciate it. Thank you. Seems like there was more designed runs for you, maybe than we've been used to seeing the last, yep. you know, year and change here. Is that an addition that you like? A chance to get out and run a little bit more than? Um, I think just being able to, you know, keep the defense honest, yeah. um, being able to uh, be be really aggressive in our uh, the way we call things. You know, mm -hmm. Coach Lev doing that, um, but also just the confidence, uh, you know, through this off season, get my body in, the, in where I wanted it to be, so I can do things I want to do.